I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip exploring the Pacific coast with the goal of knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. <laughs> yeah, I got color. Yeah! So come along as I fish both freshwater and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. What? This is Field Trips with Robert Field. Look at that! That was insane! All right, guys, so today we're heading about an hour and a half east of Seattle up into the mountains. Today we're going to be targeting Mackinac Lake Trout in Clean Ellum Lake. Uh, they're going to be a little bit bigger than those cutthroat trout we went for yesterday, and uh, we're going to be using a little bit different technique, so it should be interesting. It is uh, 39 degrees outside, and the temperatures are actually dropping even as the sun comes up as we climb in elevation. Beautiful animal, man. Cool. I'm barely getting it with this, with that fog. That's gonna be a cool shot, though. <sighs> wow. Might be the prettiest place I've ever kayak fished. So John Knox from the Old Town Pro Staff met us out here. He's local around here. He's gonna help us find some of these fish. We're with Brad Hole again today. Today we're going for Mackinac Lake Trout, which I've literally never heard of until I met Brad. He says they're pretty cool fish and they're a little bigger than those cutthroats we were catching, so should be a nice little change of pace from yesterday. And you can't beat the view. All right, John's hooked up first. What is that? I've never seen one. John hooked up, got a little, uh, Little kokanee salmon. They get much bigger than that. They get bigger than that, right? About 15 inches. 15 inches. Little kokanee salmon. There he goes. Brad got bit on the jig right off the bottom. He wasn't even marking fish. Oh, nice little run, yeah. Nice. First fish of the day. These fish will be. You know, they'll be 200 feet down sometimes. They have swim bladders, and when you're bringing them up, sometimes you see the them release big bubbles and stuff. Oh, yeah, beautiful fish, man. Mackinac lake trout. See the nice white fins? Yeah, the they got that kind of golden on the... teeth, really oh, good yeah. eyesight. Crazy looking, man, yeah. Get her back in the water here. So that's a char, huh? It's a char, yeah. It's called lake trout, but they're really a char. Really cool looking fish, man. Pretty patterns. They got that kind of gold, almost orange on the fins, and then the white tips, those spots. The water is gin clear. It's beautiful here. It's also cold. Uh, air temps probably creeping up into the 40s now. Uh, water temps 49. This will be a bad day to fall in. They're marking some bigger fish in this area. We're gonna drop these tube jigs down, see if we can't bring up a, f a few of these Mackinac. Brad's hooked up again. Less than five minutes after he released that last one. Might be the same one. It's putting on a clinic right now for us. Show me how it's done. This one's releasing its air bladder coming up. It's just all bubbles circling. Oh yeah. So those bubbles coming up right there, that's his her air bladder she's releasing as she comes up from the depths. Yeah. Look how clear that water is, man. Oh, there she goes. Oh, she came off? Yeah. Doesn't count, didn't leader it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 sorry. Fish on. Feels like a pretty decent fish, too. She whacked it, too, man. That was an aggressive bite. We're about 60 feet of water, and I was jigging just right off the bottom. Uh, kind of in between a big jig. I'm doing this kind of little tap, tap, tap. Making it look like it's just kind of hanging out. Oh, there she is. Beautiful fish, man. Almost looks like a snakehead went down in the water. Let's get this girl up. Oh, yeah. 
Dude, this is something else. What is it? Oh, you got a bourbon. A bourbon? Oh, it's not a Mackinac Lake trout. That's, that's the freshwater link that best eating fish. So I've been hearing about these fish. I didn't really know if I had a chance to catch one today. This is called a bourbon. Can I lip it? Nice. Yeah. Nice. So I thought I had a Mackinac Lake trout on, but I don't. This is called a bourbon. I've been hearing about these fish. Uh, they basically call them almost like freshwater lingcod. He says they're the best eating fish on this lake. Yeah, when I saw it in the water, it looked like a snakehead is, is what it reminds me of the most. And yeah, man, he, he, he whacked it. That was a good bite. That's cool. There's no mistake. I didn't even know You've that. You've never caught one? I never caught him. Ha! Brad brings me out here for me to catch new species. Catch caught something he's never caught. My first burbot here on uh, Clee Ellum Lake. Really unique fish, reminds me of a bowfin or a snakehead, a super slimy kind of snake-like body. And uh, wow, he just whacked that jig. Fun fight, got him all the way to the surface. Kind of has his uh, insides coming out of his mouth a little bit there from the pressure change, but no matter, we're gonna put him out of his misery and he's gonna be dinner. Beautiful fish. Another fish on. Got a good little thump again. It's probably pretty good too, man. Feels feels pretty heavy. He's pulling straight down with these head shakes. I'm thinking maybe it's a Mackinac. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Different kind of fight. Dude, he feels pretty heavy, man. It definitely feels like a bigger fish. Ah, oh, yeah, dude. See, but it's like this, this head. Yeah, it's probably, probably a Mackinac. God, dude, he's, it's heavy. Whatever it is. It's a light rod too, so. Dude. Pretty good size one, man. Lucky bastard. Look at that. Dude, that's a chunk. That's a good one, right? You don't even have a big enough net. Yeah, it's not big enough. Holy. No, it's a, a Mackinac, man. Dude, the net's not big enough. <laughs> what? I told you it felt heavy, man. No way. Monster. It's the lightest rod I own, too. Holy shit. <laughs> What? Look at this thing, man. That's Just gill it. I've seen it. Caught out here. <laughs> nice. Just gill, gill it. Is that the best yeah, way? Yeah. That's why they have oh. nice teeth and stuff. Yeah, I see the teeth. Huh? I told you it felt heavy, man. I was like, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's bigger. So, my first Mackinac Lake trout, <laughs> and Brad and John are telling me this is the biggest one they've ever seen out of this lake. Yeah, yeah. Ow, 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 it's yeah, teeth. Oh, oh. Look at this fish. First Beautiful. Mackinac Lake trout. Brad and John say this might be the biggest one they've ever seen pulled out of this lake at least. Uh, man, it was such a fun fight. The lightest rod I own. Took a while to get her up. What an awesome, awesome fish. To come out here and just hope to catch one new species. Uh, I got a burbot, which they're telling me is, is pretty rare during the middle of the day, this shallow. And now to pull up this monster Mackinac Lake Trout. Oh man, what an amazing day already. Been out here maybe an hour fishing. Uh, just an incredible start to the day. I'm loving Washington, man. <laughs> that was a fun fight. When I saw her, I was like, dude, I think this is a decent one. <laughs> awesome, man. Get her back in the water and get this hook out. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I am just in disbelief that I just caught one this big. My first one ever right up to that burbot. What an incredible day already. Washington has definitely been good to me, but uh, we're gonna let this girl go. I've been kind of reviving her in the net. She's still breathing well, so I think she's gonna go down just fine. Dude, this is something big. He just made a crazy run. That's the strongest pull I've felt uh, today, which is saying a lot after that Mackinac I just released. Dude, this is something nice, man. 
it's not fighting quite the same as that Mackinac, but that thing pulled out some serious drag right off the bat. That was funny. Felt a good little thump. Waited a second, felt a little bit of weight, and I set the hook, and whatever it is, freaked out. It's got some weight to it, too. It's a decent fish. I don't know if it feels quite as heavy as that Mackinac, but it's fighting harder. I don't see color yet, and this water's clear, so she's still a good ways down there. It is a Mackinac, dude, and here's the air bubbles, and uh, it's another big one, man. I can't tell if it's as big, but this is a good fish. This is a really good fish, man. It's similar in size. Oh, oh, oh. Similar in size to that first one I got. This is another solid. Oh, I got him by the tail. That's why. I felt that thump and waited a second. He must have hit it, swam off, and then when I set the hook, I foul hooked her. That's why she's fighting so hard. Oh, come on, but she's good size though, man. I mean, that's no, that's no pushover. <laughs> I am loving Lake Cleelum right now. What a fun day, no way. Two solid, easy, easy girl, easy, easy. Another solid Mackinac Lake Trout, not quite as big as that other one. I actually hooked her in the tail, I felt the bite and hesitated for a second. Then I felt a little weight, so I, I set the hook and I must have set it into her tail as she was swimming off, giving up on it. But uh, end result's the same. Another nice Mackinac Lake Trout in the boat. These things are bruisers, man. That is a fun fish to fight, pulling them up from those depths. What a freaking day. You even got John and all. You look good. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you know, when, when the local's impressed with your fish. Gotten three bites today, three fish in the boat. That's a good day, I don't care who you are. Gonna let this girl go, let her return to the depths, keep terrorizing the, uh, the bait fish in the lake. Got John Knox hooked up to a nice fish. Nice. You got her in the tail, you said? Oh yeah. That's a monster, man. That might even be... Might even be bigger than the one I got, dude. That's... Dude, now that is a fish, man. Beauty. Yeah. Coconut. Yeah, the fish is longer than the net with the handle included. That's when you know. So one thing you'll notice as you look around this lake is that there's a ton of basically lake bottom below the tree line. And the reason is the lake's super low. Most of these lakes get low during the summer as they release water out of the dams and there's no snow melt to fill those back up. But when the snowpack comes in in the winter time and then starts to melt in the spring, all of these lakes will fill back up to full. So. Oh, it's a, it's a sockeye, dude. Really? Yeah. Brad, so you said it's a sockeye? It's a sockeye. Sockeye, Sam. Man, today's a day of variety. Oh, Red. I think I fall hooked him. Oh, wow, man. That's a pretty fish. Here, don't. Well, don't lose. Beautiful fish. Sockeye salmon. Fight. Oh, jeez. Oh, and it came off. That was beautiful fish, man. Almost jumped into my camera. That's weird. I, I hooked him in the side or something. If Brad could just land one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the now the guys are doubled up. Now we got John's hooked up. And right after he set the hook, Brad hooked up. These fish are hungry today. Oh, John's came off. Brad's still hooked up. It is non-stop action here today. Burbot. Burbot, dude, huge burbot. Huge burbot. Oh my God, guys. Huge burbot, dude. Nice. My first one. Your first burbot, and it's a monster. Brad was saying he was jealous because I got one my first fish of the day. He had never caught one before. Nice. And now he's got one that's significantly bigger than the one I got. Dude, today is ridiculous. Dude, it must be. Uh, like something. pressure must be off the, off the chart. Yeah, there's some kind of barometric pressure, pixie dust, something magical is going on today, man. This is, this is a day for the record books.
<laughs> We're gonna keep that guy too for dinner? Or? Yeah. These guys say these things are delicious, so uh I've only heard, I've never even eaten one before. Yeah, only. Uh graphic violence viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> the vegans are gonna love this episode. <laughs> The wind started ripping, but the fish have not stopped biting. Hooked up again. Second hit the bottom, reeled up tight, and there was already weight on it. There is definitely a good school of fish below us, and they are hungry. This one feels enormous, dude. That's drag it's pulling out right there. No way, dude. Look at this rod. Look at this rod. Are you kidding me? Dude, it's still... Uh, this is a monster. This feels like the biggest fish of the day for me so far. It's pulled out the most drag. It has got this rod doubled over. It's pulling straight down. Dude, my arm's getting tired, man. It's... Dude. No way. I don't know what this is, but it is big and heavy and strong, whatever it is. I don't know, maybe I foul hooked it. No way. I keep thinking, okay, now she's giving up, and then she goes right back down. Kind of got that fight like a Mackinac, kind of this slow, methodical sort of head shaking, and then every once in a while she's pulling out line. All right, she's starting to come up a little bit now, making a little progress. This feels like a really good fish. I don't know. I've caught some good ones today, but uh, this feels like it might be the biggest unless I just have her tail hooked or something. That wind is howling now, but uh, can't worry about that right now. Oh, I got color. Oh yeah, good Mackinac. Really, really good Mackinac. This might even be bigger, dude. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 okay. She's not giving up. Holy, dude. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Get her in the net. Get her in the net. Dude. It's a monster. Oh. No. Freaking way, dude. How are they getting? Oh, and there goes the hook. Woo. Absolutely insane day here on Lake Cleelum. Fishing for Mackinac Lake Trout. Oh, yeah. yeah, this place is gonna be. She's still not done, man. Oh my gosh. I was saying that she felt maybe even bigger than that first one, and I think she might be, man. She feels heavier at least. What an insane day to come out here and fish for new species and catch two fish that I think these guys say is about as big as they get out here. Just incredible. I've been telling everyone this whole trip that I'm the king of beginner's luck, and uh, I think today's probably the most proof of that I've ever experienced. No way. She is fat, dude. She's got a belly on her. Look at that. Yeah. What an insane day here on Lake Cleelum. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I was coming out here hoping to catch one of these fish and uh, to hook two dinosaurs and another solid one on top of a burbot. Uh, I mean, literally, I just couldn't even imagine having a better day fishing anywhere these fish are complete bruisers just tanks especially when they get this big uh, they're just this constant fight this girl pulled out a ton of drag hooked her the second my jig hit the bottom uh, that's literally three drops in a row now that I've gotten bit and uh, it is just on fire today and these are one of the more fun fish that I've caught here on these light tackle I mean this rod is lighter than I was using for the cutthroat trout and I'm catching fish like this we're gonna let this girl go. Look, now John's hooked up. John's hooked up right behind us, doubling up over here. <laughs> nice, man, they are on fire today. Gonna let this girl go, let her go on. She's a good spawning fish, and uh, obviously she's still got plenty of fight left in her, so what an incredible way to end the day here on Lake Cleelum. Just insane fishery. What an amazing day. Whew.
All right, well, the wind's really picking up. It's getting kind of chilly out here. I mean, we're just gonna go ahead and leave them biting. What an amazing way to end my time here on the West Coast. Absolutely insane day. You know, it's one thing to get numbers. It's one thing to get a couple big fish, but to have a day where the bite's on fire and it's all big fish are pulling up, you know, in my wildest dreams, I never would have even hoped for this kind of day up here, especially, you know, really not knowing what I'm doing, but uh, this entire West Coast trip has been just the story of kind of beginner's luck. I uh, have been very blessed to catch some crazy and impressive fish out here. The West Coast is one of the coolest fisheries in the country for sure. Incredible fish, such a diverse ecosystem full of tons of different species. This is one fishery I will most definitely be coming back to. But for now, we're gonna get out of this wind, get warmed up, and go grab a beer at one of these local uh, pubs here in the mountains. This has been one of the better and more exciting days of fishing in my entire life. And, you know, looking at all the stops on this trip, if you told me that the Mackinac Lake Trout stop at Lake Clee Ellen was gonna be one of the best, I would've laughed in your face, but sure enough, what an incredible lake. Can't beat the views. I mean, it would've been a good day even if we weren't catching fish, so I am on cloud nine right now. What an amazing day and an amazing trip.